Hello everyone, it's Laura and I am jumping in here to show you how to create these magnificent cards. Honestly, they're stunning. So simple, really, really going to blow your mind how I've done this. So, first of all, you're going to need adhesive sheets. So close to my heart, sell these adhesive sheets. I guess they're also known as jack paper um, in other parts. But anyway, so we're going to cut a piece out at two and three quarters by two and three quarters for this exact project. Once you've learned the concept, you could easily go ahead and experiment and do it differently. So I'm going to remove part of it and just keep that there. Then I'm going to bring in myself a bag of sequins. So these are the melon sequins. I'm going to tip out a pile onto my workspace, okay? It's just easier if I've got a pile. You might already have them in a jar. And basically what I'm going to do now is just with my pair of tweezers, grab the, I'm going to go with the largest size and just start doing a line. So you could do a whole line of the same colour first and then the whole line of another colour um, and keep it patterned. Or you could literally, do you know what, for the purposes of this one, you could just do random colours, non-stop. So I'm going to do that for this one. And basically you're just going to place them on and just press them down nice and hard to make sure that they stick to that double-sided tape. So I am going to now go ahead, actually I'll just quickly do this first row and then I'll go on to the second row to show you what I do and then I'm going to speed up the process so that I'm not taking up all your time sticking on these sequins. So as you can see, it's not really a difficult task, it's a slightly time consuming task. Um, the other thing is I worked out this morning, this one is in Australian prices, but of course um, you can work it out for your own country, whether or not it's New Zealand, the USA or Canada, but a packet of close to my heart adhesive sheets is $23.50 for five sheets. And so if you were then to take it down to an individual sheet, it works out at $4.70 per 12 by 12 sheet. And then you can cut 16 of these squares, 16 two and three quarter by two and three quarter squares out of that. So basically one of these squares works out at 30 cents, okay? So it's not an overly expensive product uh, when you break it down like that. So when I put the second row on now, what I'm doing is I'm just, I'm offsetting it. So I'm setting it into between those two and the reason why I've cut two and three quarters by two and three quarters is because the circle opening that I put on my project is a two and a half inch circle okay but I just want to make sure that I capture it nice and easy I don't want it to be difficult to um, I don't want to have whoops that's two I don't want to have the edge missed easily okay so I'd, I'd rather cut this part a little bit bigger than the opening. Just gives me a little bit of flexibility and a little bit of room. Right, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to fill this whole sheet up until it's full with the sequins. Um, and then I will come back to you and I will show you how to put it together with ease. Okay, just so that um, after doing it a couple of times, I've discovered the best way. So I'm going to show you how to do it with ease. So just watch along as I speed this up and fill this whole piece of adhesive square in with these sequins. Okay, so here we have that beautiful panel filled with all those sequins. It just looks so cool, doesn't it? All right, so for the card, I need a just standard card base, which is the four and a quarter by five and a half. Then I've cut myself out a backing color, which is five and a quarter by four. Okay, so I'm just going to adhere that to my card, five and a quarter by four. Then I've cut out a white daisy piece at five. 
by three and three quarters and then I've cut out of that a circle at two and a half so it's just a plain circle die cut thin cut that is two and a half inches so I've cut that out and then basically this is going to fit in behind it like so so what the easiest way I've found to do this is I'm just going to peel back a little bit of the backing of this adhesive sheet so that I can let me go from the other corner see if I can get it out so a little bit of a, the backing off not all of it okay so just a corner and I'm just going to have the corner like that and that's all I'm going to peel off Then what I'm going to do is hold this over the top of that so that I can get the sequence fairly straight and completely underneath the white and then I'm just going to basically lay that down onto my project and then make sure I get that corner stuck down okay so that corner is stuck down onto the project and then I'll just pull that back and then remove the rest of the backing and then just gently lay that down and press that down okay so now all of those sequins are onto my project is that simple and then that there fits over the top so then what I've done is I've taken the close to my heart stitched frame from the shaker card um, the shaker panel die cut set so that I can give a, a really cool outline edging so I'm just going to quickly stick that on and then once that's stuck on we attach that panel onto the card with some thin 3d foam tape to give it a little bit of dimension so nice and easy all right so I'll get that stuck on and there you all thought that I probably had to put adhesive on the back of each of those sequins individually which would have just been so hard to do I'm just going to attach this little panda to the top because he's actually going to be peeking out of the top of this frame so I'm going to stick that on first and then a little bit of thin 3d foam tape on the back of this panel here so that it just sticks up above those sequins so this by no means is a shaker card it's just a really glittery shimmery sequin card but I have used that die cut from the shaker card die cut from close to my heart and you could definitely do this with other shapes as well um, I just simply started with the circle and then I'm just going to put a little tiny bit more around the circle so that it doesn't sag nice and easy I'm never worried about how messy it looks like on the back because no one's going to pull my card apart and look at what I've done all right removing all the backing and this project's almost finished okay so I'm just going to sit that over the top now like so and then I've got another little panda here to add on to the front so I'll just get him taped up pop him on the front there and then I've got my happy birthday sentiment ready to go so I think I'll just pop it in around his shoulder area just there all right here we go and then basically all that's left to do if you want to do it is just add on a couple of the sequins that you've been using with a couple of glue dots and just stick them to the external of the card well not the external <laughs> the front not where the other sequins are and that's the card finish so as you can see different sequin colors different little tiny embellishments it works every time um, but yeah adhesive 
double sided adhesive squares sticking those sequins on uh, and in real time from the start of the, the video to this video without the speed up process was 18 minutes so it's not um, an overly difficult card just a little bit time consuming putting those sequins on thanks so much for viewing bye